Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. So now that I'm speaking to you, can I ask you, what are your thoughts on uh, the mocking of Jesus in the Paris Olympics the ceremony? Yeah, great question. I did a big talk on it earlier today, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to synopsis and then I've got to stop. So the synopsis is this. It was blasphemy, it was wrong, and we shouldn't let it go unchallenged. And I want every Christian who's in the Olympics to disrupt the Olympic Games, interrupt the races, do things to protest what happened, like chucking your medals on the floor, standing on a French flag, booing the French national anthem, interrupting the races by running onto the track or by dirtying the sand. Maybe don't run onto the place where they're chucking the javelin. Or making sure that the cameras don't work if you're a cameraman, by turning them off. And to, to reduce the Olympic Games in Paris to an absolute chaotic farce, and I also want every Christian to boycott it and not watch it on TV and even refuse to socialize for the moment people who are watching it, asking it, asking them to turn it off so that we can make the, not only to, to reduce the Olympics into a, a chaotic shambles, but also to make it the least watched Olympics around the world. And that's what we should be doing. What we shouldn't be doing is just letting it off praying and fasting. We need to do more than that, right? The Christians have got to find their... We believe in the true God, like they don't mock any other God. They always go after the true God, don't they? And always... Yeah, all... 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 Yeah, but but that... that You're right, what you're saying. But that doesn't excuse us from standing up to this. And we should stand up to this. Like the Muslims are more united. Yeah, but the difference is we don't, we're not, I'm not, I'm not calling for people to shoot people, stab people or blow things up. I'm just saying, let's just disrupt the games so that eventually the whole world just goes, this is the worst Olympic Games ever. And that includes Christians in the media. Literally do what you can to disrupt the games. Be the worst camera technician you can be, be the worst um, um, uh, uh, desk editor that you can be, like really just mess up everything, just work in a way that you might lose your job or you might get disqualified from the games or yes, yeah, sacrifice for Jesus, choose Jesus over gold, bronze and silver, choose Jesus over respectability, choose Jesus over the approval of the world and let us show to them that as Christians, we cannot, we will not stand by while God is mocked. But let's do it as Christians. Let's not do it out of hatred. Let's not do it out of revenge. Let us do it because we wish to protest the double standards of liberal hypocrites who won't insult Muhammad but do insult Jesus. And also, the way that they've insulted our Lord, we need to show to them that we really believe it in our Lord's prayer when we said, Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name means make holy your name. Which means that as Christians, we should make holy the name of God. And that means we cannot allow God to be mocked. And so we should disrupt the Olympic Games. We should boycott the Olympic Games. Agree. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to go for a coffee. Anybody who wants to join me can come.